Hi. So today we will talk about the questions asked for viva in gram staining. So these are some representative questions. You may have more elaborative questions. These are very simple and short questions which I will be discussing. We will have a more discussion on the entire procedure and the principles and the mechanisms uh, in some other video. Okay. So here you go. Uh, the first one for gram staining it says name the primary stain. Yes, you know the primary stain used is the basic dye. A blue colored, a violet colored dye called as crystal violet. So the primary stain used for gram staining, the one which you apply first is your crystal violet. Second says name the counter stain, the one which you apply at the end uh, that is your uh, safranin. Very rarely some people go for carbal fuchsin also. Uh, but then uh, generally uh, most commonly used counter stain which is applied at the end is your safranin. Uh, the third one it says what is used as a decolorizer yes so we use the decolorizer a mixture of acetone is to alcohol a one is to one mixture of this acetone and alcohol that is used as a decolorizer yes depending on the situation some people also use only alcohol or only acetone but then the most commonly used decolorizer is a one is to one mixture of acetone and alcohol the last one or oh, in this uh, frame um, the last one it says what is the role of iodine so we represent this iodine as a mordant right i i basically call this as a trapping agent the one which is going to trap the CVI complex inside the cells. So the role of iodine here is to act as the mordant, more specifically as the trapping agent. Uh, the next one says on what basis does it separate the organisms? The basic principle of this gram staining is based on the cell wall. So the basic structure of the cell wall, I am not going to go into the principle but then here the basis of separation is the cell wall. To just give a brief overview, we know that a typical gram positive cell, it will have a cell membrane and then uh, it has a thicker layer of peptidoglycan, a very thick layer of peptidoglycan and this represents the cell wall of a typical gram positive bacteria. For a gram negative bacteria, it is more complicated, you know, that it has a cell membrane, then it has a thinner layer of peptidoglycan and then it has a outer membrane. So it has an extra structure of this particular outer membrane and this is the basis like we will see the principle probably in some next video but this is the basic principle that is your cell wall differences in the gram positive and your gram negative organisms. So uh, this particular gram positive and gram negative organism ke cell wall major difference hai. Uske subse this staining therefore is called as the differential staining. Here you can see the gram positive ones they appear purple and the gram negative ones they appear red. So blue purple or red and pink. Enlist the sequence of steps. I am only going to go the sequence like what it is done. You heat fix the smear. So you take uh, the smear, prepare the smear, a heat fix smear you take. Then I am only taking what are added, what is the sequence of the addition of the reagents. In this then you add the crystal violet. Then you go for addition of iodine. Then you go for decolorization. And then you go for addition of safranin or the counter stain and then addition of the immersion oil and then you observe under 100x right there are going to be washing steps in between but this is the sequence of events your crystal violet iodine decolorizer counter stain oil and observe uh, state some examples the most common question probably which you will be faced when you are uh, giving a viva for uh, gram staining do char example bata do gram positive ke do teen batao gram negative ke do teen batao to here you go you have many such examples you may give example of staphylococcus which is a what you call as a gram positive coca in the cluster you can go for streptococcus which is the example of gram positive organisms in the chain you can go for micrococcus which is the organism which you can give the example of having a tetrad structure then you have certain other organisms if you are talking about rod a thicker rod it is clostridium uh, you may go for thinner rods like uh, listeria you can go for uh, branched uh, what you call as uh, gram positive organisms uh, the nocardia species the actinomyces for gram negative you may have uh, rods or bacilli shaped structure the most common which we have that is your e coli then you can go for curved rods that is your vibrio 
यू कैन गो फॉर वट यू कॉल एज योर थिन नीडल लाइक ऑर्गेनिजम्स लाइक योर फ्यूजो बैक्टीरियम यू कैन गो फॉर कोको बैसिलाय द एग्जाम्पल गोज इज योर हिमोफिलस राइट सो दीज आर सम कॉमन एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ ग्राम पॉजिटिव एंड ग्राम नेगेटिव ऑर्गेनिजम स्टे ट्यून फॉर मोर ऑन ग्राम स्टेनिंग एंड मच मोर इन माइक्रोबायोलॉजी विथ मी प्रोफेसर गिरीश कुकरेजा थैंक यू